everyone, this is Kim with Mom's Creative Moments, and I am bringing you a, a um, layout, a double page layout today for um, my Hawaii trip. And um, these are going to be some, this, these two pages are going to be loaded with photos. So um, I hope that you'll come along with me and watch while we put this together. Let's check out my desktop. Okay, so here is my desktop. I have my two natural pages, which I'm going to be building these two, this double page layout onto directly onto my pages today. And I'm going to be using six sheets. Yes, you heard me right. Six sheets of designer and tone on tone paper. Um, actually, I believe most of these came from the tone on tone collection from Serene Waters and in fact no actually this one did not um, these are from the designer pack or, um, but at any rate um, this is the Serene Waters collection and I have six sheets that we are going to use in today's layout I know that's a lot of paper and I try really hard not to use this much paper on a layout but actually um, I'm, I'm basing this layout on this sketch from the Creative Memories blog, challenge number seven, that came out last June. And um, this is a sketch that came to us from our friends in Japan, from CM Japan. And um, they used an unbelievable amount of paper on this layout. There are so many different layers and different things that are... are um, are put together. So I am going to um, simplify it somewhat so it won't have quite as many layers, but it is still going to require that we use the majority of this paper. So um, this design that you that you see here on um, on your screen was done by a one of the ad advisors in Australia, her name is Kylie Kingham, and she's a very talented advisor out there. So it, for those of you who watch my channel that are in Australia, say hi to Kylie for me if you see her and tell her thanks so much. This is an awesome version of this layout and hopefully mine will measure up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set this aside for a second so that I can do some cutting. You can see that I've had to do a fair amount of figuring to dis discover, you know, exactly what I needed to do and exactly what measurements to cut things at. So bear with me while we get some of this trimmed up, okay? Now the bottom sheet that's going to go on our paper is going to be this one right here. I love this. It's And I love everything in this collection because of all the individual looking brush strokes. It's like um, all every paper is a work of art and it's just so so beautiful um, which makes it hard to cut but you know we have to draw the line somewhere I suppose right? Okay so we're going to cut both of these pages into ten and a half by eleven and a quarter and I know that's kind of a weird measurement but you'll see why when we get there okay so I'm going to take one and a half inches off, off the top edge of this one. So one and a half inches here off the top. And I'm going to turn it horizontally and take three quarters of an inch off the side. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other piece. Okay, so I'm using the, the darker shades at the bottom of my paper if that helps you in any way and we will have a three-quarter inch border all the way around the layout so let's see darker edge darker edge darker edge that feels darker to me so we will cut one and a half inches off the top And again, three quarters of an inch, turning it horizontally, three quarters of an inch off the side. Okay. 
So those are going to be our base sheets. I'm just going to set them underneath all of these so, so that we can cut a couple of others. So these darker sheets, the darker blue, I'm going to cut into a nine and a half inch square. So nine and a half inches. There. And I'm just going to make a pile of all my little extra pieces off to the right so that I don't have to keep trying to find a place to put them for the moment. I'll move them all when I'm done. So nine and a half inches. I'm going to do the same thing with this one, nine and a half inches. Nine and a half. Turning it nine and a half. There we go. All right, now these last two sheets we're going to cut into eight different mats. And these mats are going to be four and three eighths by four and three eighths. So I'm going to use my trimmer and I'm going to cut four and three eighths in a strip and I'm going to slide this over and cut another four and three eighths that piece is going to be extra I'm going to stack these And then cut them the other way at four and three eighths. So two. going to do four more. Four and three eighths. And four and three eighths. Stacking those. And again, four and three eighths. You're gonna get really tired of me saying four and three eighths. <laughs> and again, one more time. At four and three eighths. Those are all of our pieces. So I'm going to set my trimmer to the side. And I'm going to, going to grab these two pieces first. Again, the deeper shade is going to go towards the bottom of my page. I'm going to grab my permanent adhesive and just go ahead and add adhesive every couple inches or so, add about a half an inch of adhesive. That's what I tend to do. Can you see my horrible bruise there? I had to have cortisone shots in my wrist, in my thumb joint. Let me tell you, if you've ever had to have those, you know that all the fun I was having on Friday, this past Friday. So fun, but my hands feel fine now, more or less. I mean, I still have kind of a little bit of the residual issues with my joint, but, and that awful looking bruise, just to remind me,
it's not one thing, it's something else. Boy, am I learning that phrase this year, ladies. All right. Hey, that reminds me, if you're watching this and you're enjoying what you're seeing, would you do me the honor of subscribing to my channel? I would really love that. My goal this year is to increase my subscribers and I have a long way to go to get to my goal. So if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that would be so awesome and I would love you for that. I do try my best to post content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday during the week. So you have new ideas to inspire you on the weekend. Alright, now I'm going to grab the blue sheets that we have. And these are going to go, look at that gorgeous orange and yellow on the back. Whew. I'm going to have to buy another pack of this paper. I to think I already have one coming in my order. Just so I can use the back side of this. Okay, so this is going to go and be centered on the outside edge. Okay, so you want a, roughly a half an inch of border all the way around the top and the outside and the bottom and you're going to have an inch and a half border around or in the center here, okay? Just like so. So I think one of the videos I did here recently, I tried really hard to not use much paper this one is going to use a lot of paper and actually the argument could be made that I could have gutted some of this paper and saved it but <clears throat> but I haven't so if you are concerned about saving paper you may want to consider that and um, if you're not sure what it means to gut your paper you would just um, use your trimmer and cut the center, cut the center out right here of this sheet that's on the bottom because then this sheet goes over the top and you save that paper for some for another project, which can be really, really nice to do. But I didn't do it this time. So all right. Just moving some of my extra things out of the way. Okay, now I'm going to take these other, these four mats that I have, eight mats, sorry, that I have. These are going to go right on our blue squares. Okay, and all that, look at all that movement in this paper. I just love it. Noreen Smith is always talking about movement in our in our um, designs. This is this paper is awesome for movement. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put these down. I have my pictures all ready to go, and I think I know which order I want to put them in. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and center these with about a quarter of an inch around the outside edge. And by putting a quarter of an inch around the outside edge, if I did the math right, and I believe I did, then you'll wind up with everything perfectly centered. So you'll have a quarter of an inch between the photo, between the photo mats in the center and a quarter of an inch all the way around. Once you have one of them laid down, if you use the edges as your guide, just make the others match. 
and you'll be good to go. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna get these four down. Now, in the example that we um, we were looking at earlier, it shows one of these squares is used for embellishing, which is totally fine. You could use one of the squares for embellishing, and you can make it a journal box as well, which would be perfect for you to... Um, to encompass your journaling, give it a, give it its own, you know, space. Because the photos that I'm using on these pages are all of our first glimpses of Oahu as our plane was coming in, I am not going to create a journal box for this page. For these for this layout I am just going to go ahead and put my photos down especially since it's me not being from the islands I'm would have a hard time telling you exactly what I'm looking at other than the fact that this is Diamond Head and I believe this is the North Shore I don't know the name of those mountains this is the this is also the North Shore right here this is where Olani is if you're familiar with the Disney Resort that's right near Waikiki it, Olani is right on this end of the island down here and these are this is the coral I believe that's coral that is on the ocean floor as you come in to land. You can still see it right here around the airport landing, landing zone. And I want to incorporate this picture of this handsome guy that I got to sit with the whole way over, but I'm not sure exactly where to put it. I don't want to cover up the airport down here. So I was thinking maybe what I could do if I move these, maybe I could put him kind of right here. Maybe move this one up here because it's a little bit more interesting. This one down here is a little bit less interesting. So I could put that like so. I know it kind of sticks out, but this was taken on the airplane right after we landed, and I just feel like this is a good place to put him. So. I could cut him down just a little bit so he's not quite so tall. That might be a good idea. Let me grab my trimmer. Make it a little bit smaller. Let's see, so that's a five by four. that I think that'll work for my intent and purpose okay so let's get these pictures put down Mm-mm. <laughs>
<clears throat> all right so all of those are adhered now let's grab some stickers and play with some embellishing so we have with the serene waters collection so they totally match as you can see um, by my laying that out there um, we have these two sheets that are really really great we also have these sheets which are 12 inch stickers which are also very cool but not really appropriate for this particular layout um, but I love all of the different sayings over here you've got roam far and wander wide <clears throat> you are not a drop in the ocean you are the entire ocean in a drop make a splash rivers know this there is no hurry we shall get there someday live in the sunshine swim in the sea drink the wild air dive in gone fishing on the beach friends taking it all in family all good things are wild and free nature is the greatest place to heal and recharge paddle out which is probably going to go on our the pages that i do where we can see very very tiny surfers way out there in the ocean um but there are a couple that I thought were really appropriate for the, for this. The water is full of untamed magic. I just love the colors in these pictures of that ocean. And it just, it just speaks to me, that untamed magic. And then this one that says, The Cure for Anything is Salt Water, Sweat, Tears, or the Sea by Isaac Dennison. Or this one up here that says, Breathe In and breathe out <laughs> all good things right so I think what we're gonna do since we've got his picture down here we'll probably I'll probably add an embellishment here next to Nimrod and something up here or maybe kind of in the middle right here and then something over here just small so that we're not blocking any of these beautiful photos on this page. All right, so let's see what we can put together. So let's see, I was gonna do breathe in and breathe out. And then the cure for anything and water is full of untamed magic. So let's see. I probably need the one, we could probably put this one here because it's a little bit bigger. Probably breathe in and breathe out over here. And then this one that's wider could go up here. Okay, so I'm gonna just stick that up there for a second. That one there for a second. Well, I add a few things. Let's see. We could just add some seashells and call it good, right? I don't know if I really want to introduce this color though because I don't have that anywhere else on this page. So maybe I need to jump over here and grab some of the bluey, bluey and green ones. We've got yellow on the page due to Nimrod's cool shirt. We've got that one and I could put let's do this little guy right here add him as well and let's move these so they're a little bit more centered not completely in the center mind you just a little bit more in the center okay grabbing my foam squares because that's what we need right now I keep pulling this off of where I stuck it out of the way Let's see. Just going to go ahead and add a couple of these bigger ones. To keep 
this nice and popped up. I'm going to stick a little one right there in the middle too just in case so it doesn't fall down. I'm actually thinking I don't really like that little tiny seashell there as well as I thought I was going to. Get off. So I wonder what if stick that guy back on there. What if we used a bird? A bird flying up here maybe? Just going to add one more little foam square so that the bird is kind of popped up just a little. <laughs> All right. This is going to go right down here. Okay, then we're going to do the cure for anything is salt water sweat, tears, or the sea. And I think I'm just going to use this right here. Put behind it all those cool fishies. And maybe we'll just add the sun in there as well. like so, like that. So we get a little bit more yellow going on up in that corner. Getting all the backs off of those just always takes me forever. Okay, I'm going to set that right on there, like so. Okay, now we need our breathe in and breathe out. And maybe, um, <laughs> We'll use the sailboat. The sailboat doesn't want to stick together. The sailboat, and what else could we use? The other bird, maybe. I love how the birds, whether we using, we're using a sticker, and you can't see this little guy down here as well, which is a bummer. Maybe it would have been better to put him up there. But at any rate, what's done is done. He is stuck down. Um, I love that the birds help to kind of create movement in your page. Something you may not necessarily think of a sticker doing very much. But, um, but they really do help move the eye across the layout, which is an important 
an important aspect of how we put things together and why we put things together the way we do. So try to think of that as you are placing, choosing your embellishments and placing them down so that you um, have that movement across your page. The pic papers you use, the way you place your embellishments in the different areas on your page are all super important. Okay, we're going to lose this bird again, I'm worried. Maybe if we put him right there, he'll do better. Okay. All right, I believe we have another layout completed for this album. Awesome. And I may go back and draw or, you know, write in some very basic journaling over the different areas that I feel confident that I know. But given that I'm not from the islands and I have not the experience of looking at it from an aerial view, um, other than these photos and are flying in that one time. I am by no means an expert, so, but I believe um, that I do know a couple of things, so I will probably try to write those in. If I'm wrong, be sure you add it in the comments and let me know, and I'll wait until this posts before I do any journaling. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you are able to um, learn from and be inspired by putting this layout together. Let me show you what the original looked like so that you can see that one more time and see the differences in what we did. See how she's got a journal box right here in this spot, which would be perfect. And um, she put her embellishments in a slightly different place, but that's okay. I think it turned out really well and I'm pleased at how the photos pop off the page, which is what I wanted. So that was my goal. Thanks so much for joining me. And until next time, I hope you have many more creative moments. Have a great day.